Hello there guys, what is going on? Son of Chelsea back here again for another edition of Let's Talk Chelsea, the show where we take a look at some of the biggest news stories surrounding Chelsea in recent days. Um, I'm uploading this a day early. Primarily because I've got some Manchester City content coming out before the game on Saturday. Um, but also, of course, there was some big news, if you haven't heard it, that came out uh, regarding a previous Chelsea manager that I feel like I'm almost obliged to give my thoughts on. And I do have thoughts. Um, so yeah, let's get into it uh, pretty plainly. Jose Mourinho is now Tottenham Hotspur manager um, or head coach is probably the, the suitable term. Um, he was announced as, uh, as their new head coach at 6am this morning. Uh, Mauricio Pochettino was sacked last night. Big shocking news. I was absolutely stunned when I heard the news. Um, checking Twitter and seeing the announcement. Um, and then, of course, it became very clear within a couple of hours that Mourinho was going to be the follow up and was going to be in place very quickly. And then, of course, it got announced uh, this morning. There's been a lot of reaction to it, a lot of strong reactions, as you can expect, um, especially in relation to Chelsea fans. I guess it's sort of the expectation as a Chelsea fan. Maybe you believe I'm going to come on here and slam my fist against the desk. Um, his reputation at Chelsea is tarnished. Um, how could he ever do this? To be honest, that's not really my take. I'm a bit sort of nonplussed about it, if I have to be honest. Firstly, I think... It's not like he's gone from Chelsea straight to Spurs. Secondly, I've already seen him go to a rival and manage them in the form of Manchester United. Sure, not to the same animosity uh, as Spurs to Chelsea, but I have witnessed that as well. Um, and all of that that went on with Mourinho and Conte and you know the, the the animosity that was already there for Jose and a lot of people sort of turning their opinions on Jose as, as he went to United and, and the way he behaved during that time. And also, I think it's just hard for me to get sort of past what's going on at Chelsea at the moment. It, there's a lot of positivity around it. I'm very sort of willing. And I think like a lot of us are, are so invested in what Lampard is doing at the moment. There's so much positivity. You don't really want to get away from that. And like Lampard has said, uh, I think will be sort of a key quote this season from him. We are looking in the mirror this year. And I think that's what I'm feeling about Chelsea at the moment. Uh, I think uh, Yannick Football Therapy made a brilliant video about this where he went in depth and gave a lot of uh, nuance and, and gave a lot of good opinions. And I definitely recommend going and watch his take on it, as well as other people uh, who, who've given their opinions on it. Of course, Mourinho said he didn't want to manage Spurs, but this is, this is Jose in a nutshell, isn't it? This is how he operates. That is a person who Chelsea fans adored and fell in love with. Those memories we had with Jose will never be taken away. Um, me being there as, what, a seven-year-old watching us win uh, the League Cup against Liverpool at the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff. I was there. That's never going to be taken away. Uh, watching us lift the trophy against Charlton in May of 2005, of Claude McAuley scoring that penalty. That will never be taken away. Um, and loads of other memories as well as like when he came back in 2015, won the title, won the League Cup again. Managers move. Uh, times change I think I echoed something similar when I was talking about David Luiz leaving for Arsenal in the summer but as fans we have this sort of idealistic approach and almost a uh, fairy tale approach that ev anyone who comes into our club whether that's a manager whether that's uh, you know a chairman whether that's you know of course players that they all have the same affection for the for the club and the badge that we do um, and unfortunately, just with modern football, I think it's just healthier as a fan to realise that's just not the case. Professionals move. They move to other places. We've seen that over time. Yes, I understand there is a, a, a certain level to being a Chelsea manager and moving to Spurs and sort of the animosity and the history and the baggage that comes with that. I think personally for me as well, I just have to state that Tottenham are not sort of in terms of like my most heated sort of rival as a fan, not really up there as maybe some other Chelsea fans, you know, that a lot of that goes back to the seventies. And personally for me, I grew up watching us battle with Liverpool and Arsenal, and Manchester United. So they're sort of higher on the pecking order probably for me. Um, but that's just a subjective personal thing for me. Um, of course, I'm not, not happy that he's going to Spurs and it will hit, heat up those matches. I'm sure. But I also think Jose Mourinho is behind the times. I really do. I think he is a manager that I think just, doesn't operate and doesn't play a style of football that works as well and as 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 effective as it was maybe five or so years ago. 
uh, being at the top of the English game at the moment is about playing progressive, possession-based, attacking football. That is not Jose Mourinho's bread and butter. Um, he can play that style of football at times, but he is at heart a pragmatic counter-attacking manager. Um, he is a reactive manager. That that's that's his style. And I think what we saw at Manchester United and what we're seeing, you know, look how radically different Chelsea style of players now uh, to what it was two years ago under Conte. Um, it's we are now much more of a possession based side a player like Jorginho I think is so and Jorginho and Kepa are sort of for me two examples of players that you just wouldn't have seen in the Chelsea side a couple of years ago it's Chelsea trying to bridge that gap between the top of the league um, and trying to play a more progressive style of play you know look at the way Leicester play it's so different to when they won the league the game has changed and I just think Mourinho I look at that Tottenham squad who've played pressing football who've played attacking football on the on the front football under Pochettino how is he going to mold that squad into playing more of a, a pragmatic and defensive style of play that I just don't think works as effectively anymore at the top of the English game I have that's just my personal view um and I feel like, of course, Jose is a very effective manager of being a firebrand and walking and galvanizing a fan base. We know that more than anyone else. Um, he is able to unite fans and unite the club, make it us against them. That's always what he's done. I don't believe whatever maybe as... Uh, softly spoken he may sound in the Sky Studio and as maybe he might sound that oh I've changed I don't think a leopard changes their sports especially at the age Jose is now why would he change his approach going into Spurs um, I think he he will likely galvanise the squad the, to be honest is probably good for him in age you know 25 to 30 is sort of his uh, marker for players he plays you know he, that's who he loves working with, he loves working with older players, what I think will happen. He may as well win a trophy with Spurs. He may win them an FA Cup, but I think uh, we've seen it twice now, um, especially at Manchester United. What I think will probably happen is he'll maybe galvanise them for a short period, improve them, but then he'll ask for a lot of money, which he requires to be successful. He'll ask for a big transfer for a 28-year-old. Levy won't give him that money. There'll be a battle and then either... Next year or the year after, there'll be a fallout and he'll probably leave Tottenham where he's found them. And that is my feeling. I know that a lot can change within football and I'm, those words may look foolish in a, in a short period of time. He could go there, be the Jose. We all knew at the best version of Jose and turn them into winners. But that's just my personal view. I think evidence shows that Jose, I feel, is in a lot of ways behind the times. I just don't think he is the same manager anymore. And I think that there are more interesting, progressive managers. You know, I think probably a manager maybe like Eddie Howe could have been more suitable or as Nagelsmann Nergl was uh, touted as being a, a good Tottenham manager because um, for a longer term project, Jose is not going to offer that. Maybe Levy's just so desperate to see Tottenham get this silverware, he will uh, deal with the the repercussions of bringing in Jose Mourinho. Maybe that's what, what he wants. Um, it is tough for Chelsea fans, especially as fans who backed him during his darkest moments during that 15-16 season where he got the sack. Um, dark moments where Chelsea fans sung his name um, a lot of times and you almost hope that that would be uh, sort of brought back and sort of repaid by Jose but unfortunately he's just not that type of character he moves around this is probably the best job he's going to get uh, the Bayern job has been open for a while and he apparently Bayern don't want him don't want to go anywhere near him so this is the best it probably gets for Jose and if it doesn't work out I think this is probably would be the end of his uh, club managerial career at the top level um, if it doesn't work out at Spurs and the same thing happens as it had at Manchester United and Chelsea um, but those are my opinions on it I think that that game uh, on the 22nd, I believe, of December, just before Christmas, is going to be really intriguing. Um, I don't think there'll be much animosity between Lampard and Jose because I think there's just so much admiration between both of them. Um, and I don't think that's the type of character Lampard is. Though I would prepare Chelsea fans for probably a few sly remarks towards our young players. If you've watched his comments already this season in the Sky Studio, I believe maybe he'll try and ratchet that up um, before the game, maybe talking about maybe somebody inexperienced within our side, maybe try and get into that. That's what Jose does. I don't think, as I say, I don't think he's going to change his style, but the, the hope is with Lampard is he sticks to what he's been doing, focuses on Chelsea, says the right things in press conferences. I don't think he'll get into a spitting match with Jose because I just don't think it's what he is like. Um, 
so yeah that, that's my views i'm sure you will have strong opinions about it as well um the memories will always be there with jose but that, that's my take on jose Mourinho becoming manager of spurs so that is it for this edition of let's talk chelsea thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video if you did enjoy it hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to never miss an upload follow me on twitter at son of chelsea and i'll see you again